Alrighty, welcome back to another episode. Um, <clears throat> so today was actually meant to be an interview. I was supposed to have an interview on today with Finn McKenna Fox from The Grounded Masculine. Um, and I was hoping to be chatting about, he's, he's a men's coach, so I was hoping to be chatting about all kind of things, men's work, mental health. Um, but he's also uh, an ultra runner, he runs ultra marathons and he's pretty good at the old running thing. So um, I had a lot of different questions I wanted to ask him, but unfortunately he has come down with the man flu. So uh, it's, a, it's a wee solo effort again from me today. The interviews will start at some point, I promise. Uh, but right now it's just me and my ramblings. So... Uh, uh, as always, at the start of these things, I'm not. I'm just getting up to speed with the whole housekeeping aspect. But if you are watching these videos and you're getting anything from these videos, then I would love it if you would like the video and perhaps maybe subscribe to the channel. Um, that helps us to get more eyes on what we're doing um, and hopefully help to grow this channel and then put out better content moving forward. So yeah, so like, subscribe, share it with a friend, do all that good stuff. Maybe even leave me a wee comment and let me know what your thoughts are. Um, okay, so. Today I want to talk about um, what's what's coming next. So I actually got asked this in the gym yesterday. Um, I bumped into a guy who told me he's watching my videos, which is awesome. So thank you very much. If you are watching these videos, um, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. Um, and he was asking what I'm up to next um, in terms of kind of my fitness, like you know, events that I want to try and kind of take part in. So. I think I, I kind of mentioned this on my last video in the kind of debrief of the half marathon um, that. I had originally intended to, at the end of this month, run the Loch Ness Marathon. The last two years this race has evaded me. So last year, if I'm being completely honest with you, it evaded me because I shat myself. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I just didn't sign up. I, I, I said I was going to do it and I didn't do it. And then this year, one of my big, my big mantras for this year, something I've been really trying to live by, is if I say I'm going to do a thing, then I generally make sure I do the thing. Like, I try and make sure that I do it. And unless, you know, something comes up that prevents me, whatever, but I'm trying really, really hard to make sure that if something comes up, then I do the thing. Um, and this year, I'd promised myself that this year was going to be the year that I was going to run this, this, this uh, full marathon. However... After having run the half marathon, I realised very quickly that it, it, my preparation wasn't right. And instead of going up there and half arsing it, um, I decided to pull out. I'm not going to do it this year. Um, now, the reason for that is last year when I ran my unofficial half marathon, I hadn't prepped properly for it and it, it kicked the shit out of me. I didn't give it the respect it deserved. I was very naive going into it. I thought I could kind of just bully my way through things. It didn't really work out for me. I was knackered. I was burst. My legs hurt for about four days after. It made a right mess of me. So I didn't want to do that with the marathon. I want to make sure I gave it the, the, the correct preparation so that I could give it everything that I want, to, I want to give it. So with that being said, this year there's not really a lot left on the cards that I'm going to be doing this year. So um, towards the end of this month, so two weeks time actually, not this Sunday but next Sunday, I'm going to run the the men's 10k in Edinburgh. Um, I don't know if that's the official name for the race or whatever, but I'm going to run that race just just to give me something because I, I think I think it's important as men that we have something. Well, not just as men, but as you know, as, as people that we have something. But well, we need to have two things in our calendar every year. We need to have things that challenge us and also things that excite us. Um, if we've not got those things in our calendar, then we end up just slipping into a rut and we we don't really go anywhere. So we need to always be looking at our calendar and you know booking something in that's going to excite us, but also something that's going to challenge us. So if we're just booking holidays all the time and there's nothing that's really pushing us or challenging us then we're not going to change as a person, we're not going to grow. So we need to put things in there that are actually going to give us a bit of a challenge, that are going to you know, make us um, face some kind of adversity. So for me, you know, I, I, going to the gym two or three days a week is challenging, of course it is, but I'm comfortable in doing that now. Running, I'm not really comfortable in doing running, it's not my favourite thing to do. So pushing myself out there to, to go and enter races, it means I've actually got to put the training in to go and then take part in these races. So it's massively outside my comfort zone, it's not something I hugely enjoy doing, uh, although I am starting to enjoy it more and more. But, you know, it really, really challenges me. Running, I find, is a real, real grind for me and it's a real challenge. So I make sure that I've got that on my calendar. I'm putting that on my calendar all the time. So for this year, I think the the, the, the 10K at the end, at the, sorry, at the end of this month in two weeks' time, I'm going to run that. Potentially, I'll look for another 10K race before the year's out, see if there's one around about Christmas time. Uh, and that's really going to do me for this year. 
Moving into next year, which I'll do a much more detailed uh, video on later on down the line, I want to look at doing my first marathon, so I'm, I'm actually eyeballing the Edinburgh Marathon, which is around about May time. Um, I also want to do the Loch Ness Marathon, which is now, this time uh, next year, um, because as I say, the last two years I've said I'm going to do it and haven't done it, so it, I, it has to get done, I have to do that race. So I want to do the Edinburgh Marathon, I want to do the Loch Ness Marathon, um, I want to do the Scottish Half Marathon again to see if I can better my time from this year. Um, I came in at 2 hours and 23, I think it was. I can't remember the exact official time. Um, but I want I want to beat that. I want to come in, you know, I want to try and push for that 2 hours if possible. Um, so that's that's definitely on my, on my hit list again. Um, but I also want to do my first ultra marathon. So I've got a couple that I've been looking at. Um, I want to do the West Highland Way one, but that's a that's a big one. <laughs> so that's like 100 miles or something, 98 miles I think it is. Um, so that may be a bit much for my first ultra marathon. Um, but there is one, um, the, the Oakles Marathon, which is a run from Perth down into Stirling, and you take in the the Oakle Hills um, as part of the as part of the run. So I'm I'm looking at that one. That's a 50 mile run. You can cut that down to a 30 miler. Um, I'm going to have a wee. I've not decided 100% which one I'm going to do. I would like to do the 50 miler, um, but for my first foray into ultra marathon running, maybe the 30 miler might be something that's a bit more achievable. But with that being said. I, I do like to challenge myself, so 30 miles in and of itself would be a hell of a challenge, um, but you know, pushing for that 50 miles would be, I, I think, a, a really great experience, so um, yeah, those, those are my kind of running goals at the moment, and um, there's not been a lot else that's come up that, that, that's kind of really tickled my fancy, those are the things that I really kind of want to dive into, um, and on top of that, um, I really want to get back into competition, I was hoping to compete this year, I was wanting to fight in karate this year, um, I was wanting to go to a couple of jiu-jitsu competitions, it's just not come to fruition, time hasn't been on my side, um, <clears throat> it's not that time's not been on my side, that's a really shitty thing to say, I've not prioritised it, I've not made it a priority in something that, you know, I've not looked at specific dates and say, right, I'm going to compete here, I'm going to compete here. So uh, to, to use time as an excuse, that's a really shit excuse. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have used that. Yes, I am strapped for time, I've got a lot going on, but to use that as my excuse is a really, is a, is a really poor, poor show. Um, I've just not made it a priority. I've not put something on the calendar and said, on this date, I'm going to do this. Um, and I, I feel if I had done that, um, I, would, I, I, you know, I would be much more likely to have actually taken part in a competition so realistically the first competition I'll be looking at is the uh, like our association like JKS Scotland will be looking at our national championships um, potentially another couple round about that I'm going to have to look at the calendar and see what, what there is um, and see what's available to me um, and then Jiu Jitsu wise there's competitions on every other week so I, I, I would really still like to get one of those in before the end of the year so I'm going to get this run out of the way next week and then I'll have a re look at the calendar and see what other competitions are on this year Jiu Jitsu wise um, and then I'll go and have a little foray into some Jiu Jitsu competition um, <laughs> I should have done this before I got promoted to Blue Belt because now I'm up a level so, um, <laughs> so it's going to be a little bit more challenging however I do like a challenge so it'll be quite nice to, to just go up there and see how I fare against other Blue Belts and, uh, and, and how, how I got in that environment so so yeah that, that's pretty much where I'm at just now and what I'm looking to do so this year, I've, I've achieved a lot this year. I'm really happy with what I've achieved. I'm not finished yet. There are still other things I want to try and do. I'm going to, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying I won't do any more runs. Um, I'm definitely doing this one in two weeks. I'll have a look around and see what else is available, if anything else is available, and then you know maybe potentially get myself involved in that. Look for some jiu-jitsu competitions and get involved in that. There's no more karate, unfortunately, this year. The, the final competition is the same day that I'm doing the 10K, so I won't be able to get involved in that. So that, that the season closes down then until after the after the, the, the Christmas break. Um, but definitely next year, that's going to be something I'm going to get involved in. So um, I'll probably do another video on this when I get more solid dates, um, and I, I, can, I can really look at my calendar and see exactly when all these events are coming up. And you know if, if I can get those penciled in, or you know, realistically, if there's going to be anything else that's going to clash with those, it's going to mean I'm going to have to adjust things. But as it stands at the moment, the things I've mentioned already in this video are the things I really want to try and push for next year. Um, and then we'll see where it goes from there. Um, this this whole um, foray into the world of running is it, it, it's scary because I don't like it. It's not my favourite thing. I try and avoid it a lot. I try and talk myself out of running a lot, like I'm supposed to be running today. Right, slight technical hiccup there. My microphone ran out of battery, so <laughs> it completely cut out and I was talking to myself. So I think the last thing I had mentioned was me going out for a run today, uh, or I was just leading up to that point and then the, the sound just decided to die. So um, I spoke on for another five minutes after that and there was, uh, there was nothing picking up the sound, so... 
pain in the dick technology. Um, but yeah, so supposed to be running tonight, um, and I would rather not, but I'm going to do it regardless. Um, you know, just, just going back to what I was saying at the start, when we say we're going to do a thing, then we have to do the thing. Like we, we absolutely must. It's really important as parents, as people, as men, that we stick true to the things that we're going to say. So, um, you know, if you were to say to your children that we were going to go to their football game or go to their music um, concert or, you know, go and see them, you know, doing, like doing whatever, we made a promise to them we're going to do those things and then we don't do that, we don't follow through on that, the more we do that, the less trust our children are going to have in us. And eventually they're going to get to a point where they go, yeah, whatever, man, dad's full of shit. Well, that, that very same thing happens within us. If we say we're going to do a thing, we have to stick to the thing. We have to stick to it. All right, it helps to build our own confidence. It helps to build trust within yourself. Um, and, and it just, it really, really does help to kind of um, build up your character and give you a bit more kind of belief in yourself. So if you say you're going to do something, you absolutely have to follow through and make sure you do that thing. Which is kind of why I'm doing this video, to be honest with you. Like I said at the start, man, I had an interview lined up for today. I was supposed to be doing a, 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 I was actually supposed to be doing an interview last week, hence why there was no video last week. Um, but I had to pull out because of, uh, some some family commitments had popped up and I, uh, there was nothing I could do. Um, so we rescheduled for this week. I didn't do a video last week and I thought, you know what, I'll be fine. Missing a week will be okay. I'll just do it next week. Unfortunately, Finn's not well, so he's had to pull out this week. Now... If you remember back to the first video where I could have relaunched this channel a few weeks back and I made a commitment, I said I'm going to start doing a video every single week. If I hadn't done that, that would have then been three weeks since I made a video, which would have made me a liar and a hypocrite. It means I've, you know, I've said I'm going to do a thing and I'm not doing the thing. And it might seem like such a small, insignificant thing, but it's so important that we stick to those things that we say we're going to do. Now, the secondary part to me making this video is one, obviously, to get content out in the channel. Um, but the secondary thing is... I wanted to, to speak into existence all the things I want to do. So now that I've said them on this very public platform, if I don't do them, it makes me look like a bit of a dick. If I say that, oh, do you know what? Yeah, I want to run the Edinburgh Marathon. I want to run the, the, the Oakles um, 50 miler. I want to run the, the Loch Ness Marathon and the Scottish Half Marathon. If I'm saying all these things, that I want to do these things, provided there's nothing gets in the way. Like if there's a family thing comes up or if Hazel, if my, if my wife's got a, a, something booked for holiday, um, you know, that, that, that I've been unaware of, that means I can't go, then of course, yeah, those, those things are going to get in the way. But all things go well, those are the things that I want to do, all right? So I'm, I'm going to have a look at the calendar. I'll get them kind of booked in provisionally. Um, and now that I've spoke them into existence, it's very, very important for me that I have to do those things because I don't want to be seen as a liar. I don't want to, excuse me, I don't want to be seen as a hypocrite, all right? So by putting this out there on this public platform, it puts me in a bit of a position that if I don't follow through and don't do the things I say I'm going to do, then people are not really going to watch the channel. They're not going to tune in. They're not going to see what, what it is I'm trying to do. They're going to have no faith at all in anything I say. Um, and that's not what I want to do. I want to try and put out some content that's helpful for people, that inspires people to maybe, you know, get up off the couch and run your first 5K. Maybe get up off the couch and run your first 10K. Like, whatever it may be. Um, and that's the whole purpose of me doing this video. And if I'm not doing the things I... I'm trying to inspire you to do, and I'm not following through on those things, then really this channel is just going to be a huge waste of time. So, um, so yeah, there's a couple of reasons for me sticking this video out today, but um, hopefully that all made sense. And like I said earlier, man, I will be doing a more kind of detailed video probably at the start of the year with my goals for the year. Um, and I'll probably look at having some dates in place uh, pretty solidly at that point. Um, and then from there I'll be documenting my training as I go through the, the kind of process getting to these things because here, here's another thing just to kind of caveat why I didn't run the marathon now <clears throat> like at, the, 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 at this point like this year my half marathon training was going really really well I was, I was I was doing brilliantly and then it kind of fell away the last sort of three or four weeks maybe a little bit more than that just with school holidays and different things um, and I had originally intended for the half marathon training to be part of the the marathon training but because of the kind of progression I was taking each week with my longer runs, you know, I was looking at the half marathon actually being a shorter run than I'd been used to. I was looking to actually be up at close to the, um, the sort of 14, 15 mile point um, the week before or two weeks before that I actually ran the half marathon. Um, and it didn't, it didn't work out that way. It just didn't work out that way. Um, I was still running maybe only 15 or 16 kilometers, which is like nine, 10 miles. Um, so I wasn't quite at the distance I needed to be. So then when I ran the marathon, the half marathon, which is 13.1 miles, I've only then got six weeks really until my marathon. I've then got to try and double that distance over six or seven weeks. 
it just wasn't realistic. So this time around, I need to really look at those dates for you know when each, when each event is going to be and you know what, what training I'm going to have to do that can either be standalone for that event or can actually just marry on as part of the training for this event. Like say, for example, the, the, the 50 miler. Can I use the marathon as part of the training for the 50 miler and can I kind of bolt those two things together? Um, and that's going to be something I'm going to have to look at a lot more carefully um, rather than just trying to kind of wing it. My training this time for the half marathon was way better than the first time round, but again, naivety has crept in and I've not quite got the, the, the judgment right for how I should properly train for a, for a full marathon. So that's something I want to address going into next year. Um, you know, from the, from the start of the year until the, the full marathon, there's five months. That's going to be plenty of time for me to get into, into shape to actually run a full marathon and then hopefully bolt on from that to then be able to run a, a, a 50 mile ultra marathon. So, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's us for this video really. It was just to kind of put things out there, let you know what I'm up to next, what, what kind of things I'm intending to do and also to give me a bit of public accountability just to kind of put it out there, see what I'm going to do and then, you know, have the, the, the wonderful world of YouTube hold me accountable to that. So, um, so yeah, thank you all so much for tuning in. If you've still watched to this point through my <laughs> my ramblings, um, I don't go into these things scripted. So it's uh, very much just what comes into my head at the time and I just waffle on and some people will cut and edit their videos and I do that with some of them, but sometimes I just can't be arsed. I'm just going to be honest, man. I just like to come on and blether. So if you're still watching um, and I'm not sending you to sleep, then I really do appreciate it. And uh, like I said at the start, if you wouldn't mind popping your your finger on the subscribe button maybe give this a little like um, and drop me a little comment let me know what kind of events that you're looking to do over the next year or so <coughs> um, if any at all if you know if there's some if you're looking to just get started and running let me know um, i've actually just put together a, a, a brand new 5k uh, beginner to 5k plan um, I'll maybe just drop that in the link actually down below so if you want to get your hands on that if you're new to running and you, you want to get involved in that then maybe go and download that little plan and give it a, give it a once over and see how you got on and then once you go through it maybe drop me a comment let me know how you got on alright but um, anyway that's it for this one I will hopefully see you next week with an interview with uh, Finn McKenna Fox from The Grounded Masculine um, all things going well that's exactly what we'll be doing but until then see you in the next one cheers <laughs>